Hey guys, Big Square, Roadrunner.com. Look who we have. Ginny Moonstone with a great connection. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. She's all settled. She is taking readings right now. Everything's available to book your reading with Jenny. Go to JennyConstantine.com to book your reading. I was on there the other day thinking I should give readings as uh, Christmas presents to people. Can we do that? Can we? Can we? Oh, yeah. Or totally. do, we, do we email you for that one, or what do we do? Uh, you know, yeah, just email me. I mean, it all works now. Um, it was really stuck in there for a while, and like I said, I didn't know how like how bad it really was, and then I was just absolutely mortified. Um, but yeah, I mean that that sort of thing happens every year. People buy readings for other people, and um, it really just comes down to coordinating time. You know, if you want to give it as a as a gift um, and just kind of have that like credit with me, just reach out and we can work that out. And I can, I, it's happened before where I'll call the person who's getting the reading as a gift and they're like, they don't know about Hello? it. They're like, Yeah, what is this about? And you know, that's always a lot of that's fun. fun yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's really fun. Okay, so if they wanna do that, do they send you an email? Yeah, just contact me. You can use my contact form on the website and that'll get you right to me. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Now there's, we, we, this week we're going to do uh, questions from the audience. We had Rotor Rooter members submit questions. We got literally so many questions. Oh God. So I, I could only pick a few of them. A lot of people wanted like personal type of questions answered. I'm like, that's where you go book your own reading with Ginny. Right. Yeah. So I know Jean-Claude likes to do, you know, Tarot readings of personal people, and I don't even know what he's doing these days. But <laughs> at Road to Ruta, we're going to stick to uh, we got road reading, we got questions on silver, questions on crypto, but we also got a lot of questions on Trump and Q and Epstein. So I'm excited about that. But first, got it. there's a new development in silver that I just Ooh. discovered this morning. You had been long talking about um, how. The bad guys are going to kind of shift to a, or to try to implement new mechanisms for um, for rigging silver because the old mechanisms weren't working anymore, mm -hmm. and I I think that is absolutely happening. One of the mechanisms that they did implement since at much long after you said that originally um, was the leasing of silver to other banks so that they can keep it on their books but at the same time suppress the price by adding uh, physical that's silver in the market and that's a new development that's a new development actually it's a really old development that died off and came back right. but it was instantly exposed and now we're at a point where just today the um one of the largest uh, silver lessees the person who borrowed the metal had to pay back 25 million ounces which is a gigantic amount of silver to JP Morgan, the criminal entity that controls the physical silver. So I wanna talk about, and it was Bank of America who was the, the lessee. They're the ones who borrowed it in the beginning of the year to, to suppress the price all year. And now they had to pay it back. So I have like two or three questions about that. Okay. The first question would be, are they going to be returning more silver on the comics is where they did it, or is that it? Just a one-time deal. Okay. Will there be more silver return to the comics? I'm using my homemades. All oh, right. <laughs> for this, and then I'll always clar uh, clarify with the tarot. Ooh, treasure and rewards, lies and falsehoods. Wow. Yes, injury and disease. So let me sit with that for just a moment and then I'll use my tarot to clarify. The circumstances of this seem to be that it like, you know, when there's an emergency, like a real emergency and you improvise and you, you kind of go into a mode where it just has to work. 
and but there it's kind of sloppy because you're just in pure like survival mode that's kind of what this feels like to me is that it was just a um like um like a bandage they're just bandaging this up right now so let me see will there be more and this is going to give us a feel for the the movement like whether this is like a continuation or if that's it the hanged man and the eight of swords and the nine of swords well i'm going to tell you that's pretty black and white that's about as black and white as it gets is the hanged man it's a very visceral card um it speaks to a stoppage uh, a hanged man is when all things are brought into suspension pause we hit pause so um and then the eight of swords nine of swords especially in sequence um indicate that there is a um there would be a significant reason why this would actually halt like halt it so again i don't know what it means it for there to be more silver given i don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for us <laughs> do you know what i mean i don't oh, know yeah. i don't know but, but what i can tell you is that this indicates that that's like that's it could that be it well, you, well, a few things I think it could sign, signify because they borrowed maybe 100 to 200 million ounces, and this is just 25 million ounces. This is the first time they've ever paid it back, and they had to do it on the comics for some reason. And then they could just say, all right, we're going to settle in cash and, and drop all the contracts, all the lease contracts, because the lease contracts are just between JP Morgan and Bank of America. So this is a big exposure today. What they did today that everybody could see, there should be questions going to a too big to fail bank called Bank of America as to why they delivered 25 million ounces in a single day. What are they doing? What was the purpose of that delivery? And if it was to fulfill leasing, why are you leasing silver from JP Morgan? I would just like to like this whole thing was done again. It's like when someone's, you know, suffers, um, sustains a major injury in combat and you scream medic and it's like trying to stuff the wound and stop the bleeding. That's what the, this looks like. It was even the contract itself was under duress. Like there, everybody here is under duress and, um, there's a, a massive amount of damage control right now with this. It's it's pretty terrible. I I wouldn't want to be some of these people right now. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's super messy. And that makes a hundred percent sense since the beginning of this, um, the latest you know run for silver began at the beginning of the year. There was all this drama around deliveries, and they're dragging people out from uh, like Goldman Sachs and uh, CPM Group saying. Oh, there's no, there's no silver squeeze. There's no silver squeeze. That's when I think J.P. Morgan freaked, or uh, Bank of America freaked out and said, "Oh my God, what are we gonna do?" J.P. Morgan comes in and says, "Hey, we'll lend you 100 million ounces of silver or 200 million ounces of silver. You just pay it back in the future." And now we're starting to see the payback. Right. And I don't know where they're gonna get, you know, 100 or 200 million ounces of physical silver. So, what are the, like? Are you can? Do you have a specific concern? about um, how they are going to acquire that? No, no, because I mean, there. Are, I don't know if there are ways that the market's really tight. Um, you know, every ounce of silver that's mined is owned by somebody at all times. Right. And many times it's owned by multiple people. Like uh. the same ton of silver will be owned by, you know, four different banks and they'll use it in whatever derivative ways. So it, it does sound exactly like what you're saying. They're they're trying to plug holes. It's like the little girl in the in the dike trying to stick her finger. Yeah, that's in. right. That's right. It was a little boy, but a little oh well, yeah. a little <laughs> Dutch boy. A little, that's Dutch, a little boy. Dutch boy. Come on, it's in the name. Hey, the little him he she sticking his finger. <laughs> in. They they. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That well, that's really interesting. And um, so. Where, where where do we want to go from here on this? 
How about let's look at just Bank of America, the entity. Will they be significantly damaged as in needing government intervention? Like a bailout. Okay. Y'all heard him. You guys heard what he said. Bank of America, the entity that is that Bank of America. We're going to look at its current state and its future state, very near future kind of trouble they're in, if they're in trouble. Okay. Ten of Swords. That's a significant ending. That's where they are right now. Three of cups in their future position. So 10 of swords as of right now, they, it's a complete, like something is just done, finished in the ground, okay? Um, we probably wouldn't know that unless we were digging, okay, because we know that they do everything, like even the things that they release, they release it because they're, they, they're like, okay, you can know this, peasants. Um, and then three of cups in the future position is, uh, in this case, it does speak to a type of collaborative um, uh, it's it's cancerian energy so it's more of like an insiders type of thing where like very secret like because you know traditionally the three of cups is it's like parties and stuff it's like small circles of you know small celebrations and people getting together for uh you know it's meetings and stuff like that so i would say that they're i mean certainly they're in bed with god knows who um, but the three of cups does indicate that there is some kind of a collaborative solution that they're absolutely just like praying that they can, because look at how, look at, this is current situation for Bank of America. Okay. Mm -hmm. Poor girl. She's got a sword in her back and you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. So let's see here. That let's get a little bit more. Yeah. So let me clarify this three of cups energy. I really. I've really learned just, especially in the time that you and I have been working together, I've learned that it is absolutely imperative that I surrender and release what it is that I want to see happen. Um, because there's no, you know, I'm subject to the same rules of tarot as anybody and everybody else. So for me to just say, act like I, I don't care. I don't care what happens. Um, I actually, wait, wait till we have, wait till we have some of these Q and a questions. I mean, it's right up your alley as far as Trump and Q and all that. You're gonna have and to I, you know what? And you're all going to see me go through this the same as all of you. I want what all of you guys want, but I also have to read the cards. And if it's an ugly, sad truth, I have to do that. <laughs> I don't want to, but I freaking will because it's, it's my job. It's my job. Okay. All right. Attraction and magnetism, injury and disease, again, can't change the past. All right. And then we have the things can change. Media attention network. They're going to get a whole new, like a makeover. Okay. Bank of America is going to, they may actually admit something in a very, like, in a way that appeals to people's, like, you know, the narrative where the narrative is very like, uh, I mean, you can see where they're trying to appeal to the public's like want for inclusivity. And I mean, the whole thing is just about sucking corporate, you know, careful kissing up to that to them really but under the guise of it being about individuality and identity and and freedom and all of this but really so what what i think they're going to do is try to find an angle to say we're sorry we haven't been perfect in the past um but this is our new take and we okay. want we're we're a big family and we want everybody to be uh comfortable and happy and bank of america we're the family bank 
you know, something stupid and yeah. just like gaslighting people. Right. Um, but yeah, like, are they going to get help for sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. There's your update on silver right there. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I'll keep everybody informed as to what happens as we go forward, especially yeah. this delivery month. May, well, let me ask this. Yes. Um, erase all the information you have right now. Um, will the December delivery for silver be over 60 million ounces, which is a high month? I'm going to keep this to one card so that it's just yep. a yes or a no. So 10 of cups, this is a yes card. It will, I think it will, it will be. Okay. And the reason I, I chose 60 million ounces is if this, the transaction that JP Morgan and Bank of America just did, which is the delivery of 25 million ounces. I don't think it was part of the normal delivery process because right. I didn't see it on the open interest is what it's called. I did. There was nothing to say that someone was going to deliver 25 million ounces, which is one of the biggest deliveries ever, maybe the biggest deliveries ever from an entity out of its own account. Huh. So if that is true, then, and it wasn't in the numbers, the numbers were big anyway. There's going to be, I mean, according to the numbers, there'll be 48 to 50 million ounces delivered. This will be 25 million on top yeah. of that, which will hit 75 million, which, I mean, that's that's up there with close to the largest silver delivery in history for yeah. a month. Well, this is, well, I just want to say for, you know, folks that if you care about tarot, 10 of cups is a card of, uh, an abundance. This is like a flow that just doesn't stop. Um, it's a lot. It's a big energy. So, so you, just asking you personally, not the cards. Do you feel like we're going to hit the biggest silver delivery month we've ever seen? Yes, I agree. I think we will, but nobody's talking about that. And because, well, I mean, I I just discovered this part this morning. And it was a stretch, but then I'm looking at the numbers. And I'm like, wait a minute, this 25 million ounces wasn't even part of the game yesterday. It came out of the blue and that's going to put us right next to the biggest delivery in history. So would that mean that, so if they get this, would it indicate that like something had to end because earlier I got that like the hanged man which is like the suspension of everything but would this delivery signal the end of something else like entirely I think so I think it'll uh, signal the the exposure and ending of silver leasing um and there's no reason in the world there's not nobody I've never heard one single good reason to lease silver out I mean, yeah, you, I mean, it sounds like a farce. It, it's, it, it sounds, absolutely. it sounds sus. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sus. sus. It's super sus. As, Lu as Luna would say, everything to Luna right now is sus. Like, oh, that is so sus. Is that like suspect? Yeah, suspicious. Oh. Suspicious. Okay. Like, she, okay. everybody is sus to her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Good job, oh, Luna. Good job, kid. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Bravo, bravo, Jenny. Great stuff. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you know, because I know you try to stay out of the fray to keep your I mind do. clear. On the road to Ruta, Josh put together a three-part series, the best of Jenny Moonstone Silver Discussions. No way. Absolutely. Oh. And uh, we put those out on the private road for all the Road to Ruta members to check out. It's really cool. And you can see me getting fat and skinny and my beard going <laughs> long and short. And you, oh, probably me too. Oh, All you had your good days and bad days as far as makeup and hairdos and things. Oh, oh it's yeah. great. It is really fun. <laughs> so good. check that out on the private road. Okay. That's fun. Let's move on to customer questions. Yay. Now, I put this out for everybody, whatever you want to talk about. And um, we got some great questions back. I got to, I, I chose me. I, I don't even know if we can get through this 
amount, but I chose about 20 different questions. So okay. let's not dwell too long on them. Sure. I can, I can pace myself, but we'll a couple minutes each question. Yeah. So I, I broke them up into silver questions, crypto questions, and then other. Let's do silver. Let's okay. do it because we're on silver. So let's, let's stay in line with that. All right. The first question is, 